I'm Barbara Renner, and this is my friend and assistant, Peyton. Hi. Good. We are going to be making some crafts today, and it all, it's all about pollination. Peyton, what is pollination? Um, pollination is where any kind of animal, like butterflies or bees, pollinate flowers. Great. Great. So we're going to make a flower. We're going to make a flower and then we're going to make a butterfly. And there's another animal that, that pollinates flowers. Did you know that bats pollinate flowers too? Yes, so we're going to make a batch also. So we're going to show you the parts of a flower to begin with. And this is an anther right there, that little tip right there. This is what makes the pollen. This is called the stigma. This is the sticky part and center of the flower. And that's what collects the pollen. And then it goes down here to the ovary and that's where seeds are made. Now without pollination of flowers, we wouldn't have a continuation of flowers. We wouldn't have any flowers. We also wouldn't have fruits and vegetables. Because fruits and vegetables, first they flower, and after the flower, they go to fruit or a vegetable. So that's why pollination is very, very important. Here are some examples of pollinators, just like Peyton said. Uh, bees, butterflies, wasps, moths, beetles, flies, birds, and bats, wind, and then you and me. So bats usually come out at night and they, there are flowers like cactus flowers and other flowers that only bloom at night. And that's what the bats will fly to the flower and they'll pick up the pollen on their feet and then they'll go and take it to another flower when they visit that flower. So that's how these pollinators transfer the po pollen from one flower to another. So what we're going to do is make this flower, first of all, the items that you'll need, the supplies you'll need, are some coffee filters, some paper plates, magic markers, clothespins, green pipe cleaners, and some scissors. We're going to make the flower first. We're going to take, going to take two coffee filters. So there are your coffee filters. And I'm going to take two also. And we'll flatten them out a little bit. Choose your colors. Now, what I did with this one was I put pink in there, and then I think sometimes you can put yellow around the side so that it looks like the pollen. So choose a color that you want, and all we do is take the, the flat part of the magic marker and color in the center. And we'll do that on both filters. And then take the yellow. You go ahead and take your yellow and just sprinkle it around on the side too. Thank you. Now, there's two little paper plates for you. There's, and go ahead and clip the flowers, the filter on the paper plate. And the reason we're going to do this is we're going to spray it with water. Now 
now go ahead and spray it. And what it's going to do is kind of spread spread around, make it kind of petite looking. Great. I'll spray mine. And we're going to set these aside and let them dry. So in this Arizona sun, it won't take long for them to dry. Let's set them over here and let them dry. So I just happen to have some that I've already dried. So here are some flowers for you. And I'll take a couple also. We're going to poke it in the middle and kind of scrunch it up. Put them both together. And twist it in the middle. Twist it a little bit in the middle. And there's a pipe cleaner. And we'll wrap the pipe cleaner around the center. So it attaches a little bit, wrap it around, and that's our flower. Then if we want to make a leaf, we'll just take the center part and make a little loop and pull it around and tighten it up a little bit. There's our leaf. Okay, there's our flowers. Now we need some butterflies, don't we? We're going cut one of your coffee filters in half. So you'll have two pieces of the coffee filters. And choose your colors. So this butterfly has turquoise and pink and yellow but there's all kinds of colors of butterflies so you can choose whatever colors you want I think I'll choose do you want three colors yeah. okay all right I'm gonna do the lavender and just make a few strokes up and down so we'll make one layer of one color And another layer of another color. And another color. Now we take our, cut our paper plates in half. And you'll need two paper plates. We'll take the clothespins and clip it on the paper plate. And we'll take our water and just spray it on. See how it runs like that? It makes it pretty, doesn't it? Ooh, that's pretty. Beautiful. I love your butterfly. So we're going to set those over here and let them dry. And I happen to have a couple of butterflies here. Do you like, do you like this one? Do you like that color? Okay. So take 
two butterflies. And I'll use these. Now you're going to put them so that the round, the round part goes to the straight edge. I'll turn this one up. There you go. Okay, and then we'll, we'll take it in the center and squish it together. out the wings a little bit and there's our butterfly love your butterfly beautiful okay you want to make a bat okay let's make a bat we only need half of a coffee filter and we'll need brown and black so what I would do is just um, take one color and do one layer down here. Oops, and the other color, another layer. Once again, we'll need half of our plate. And clip it on. And spray it with a little water so it kind of moves together. And we'll set these over here to dry. And I just happen to have some bats. So we'll take them off the plate. And then what we're gonna do is just squish this together. Oh, I guess we needed our clips, didn't we? And just put a clip there in the center. Like that, like that. Cute, huh? Yay! So there is our colorful butterflies, our bats that are going to go around and pollinate the flowers. And I hope you enjoyed this craft. I hope you have fun making it. And thank you, Peyton, for helping me out. And if you want to know more about me and my picture books that I write, you can go to www. Renorwrites.com. Thanks so much for watching.